Aviation had the Wright brothers, Literature had the brothers Grimm, Cough Drops had the Smith brothers, and Lacrosse, it was blessed with the Gate brothers, with Gary and Paul, with Paul and Gary, whatever. Dom Starzia, the great coach at Brown in Virginia, was once asked about the Gates, and all but awestruck, he had this to say. They're in a different stratosphere. The problem is they're bigger than you, and they're faster than you, and they stick handle better than you. And it's complicated by the fact that there are two of them. Identical twins born in British Columbia, Gary and Paul, Paul and Gary, came to Syracuse in 1987, each at six foot two, both weighing 220 plus pounds, and introduced themselves as a mix of art and athletics, of sizzle and steak, of Maravich and magic. The Orangemen went 51 and five on the Gates four year watch, won 42 of their last 43 games, and claimed three NCAA titles. Gary and Paul, Paul and Gary, combined to score 319 goals, assist on 146 others, and earned first team All-American honors six times. And they were as spectacular as they were skilled. Behind the back, around the shoulders, between the legs, the gates passes and shots whistling through the forest of opponent sticks would come from every imaginable angle and even from some unimaginable ones. Gary and Paul, the Gates SU coach, Roy Simmons Jr. once said, did things that were physiologically impossible. Strong as the legs on a pier and tougher than a bad road, they played forever on the professional and the international levels, outdoors and indoors both, after leaving the Orangemen, ultimately venturing into coaching in the business marketing side of lacrosse. Today, in fact, Gary is the dapper head coach of the Syracuse women's team. So the Gates, all but connected at the hip in style and substance, have left their mark. Gary and Paul, Paul and Gary, made us drop our jaws. We haven't yet gotten around to picking them up.